Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, it's been a few days or weeks even since I've done a long format video. I've been busy. I've been doing all kinds of printing. I'll show you some of the stuff I've been doing. I'll put pictures around here randomly throughout the video. Um, I've been doing a lot of work with uh, the new printers that I got. Uh, you guys got to check out Bamboo Labs Black Friday sale too as well. But uh, you seen I talked about this printer, the H2D with all the laser combo and everything. I talked about that in my last video. This time I'm going to talk about the H2S and I'm going to tell you what I think is better for somebody that's into RC and making RC bodies and parts and stuff. Well, what your better option is, but don't roll these guys out. Like I always say, the X1Cs are rolling. I just want to kind of tell you about the hours I get on these things because I've been like printing a lot guys and uh, I've been printing a lot since I got into it. But uh, this, uh, this printer here was my first Bamboo Lab printer, and it's got 2,733 hours on it. This was my second one down here, and uh, it's got 2,470. Now, this one I've had uh, right around a month. It's hitting 712 hours. Now, this is my latest one that I got, and it's only got 131 hours, but I thought it was a good time to talk about the differences and how I compare them and what I think would be best. If you were out shopping here on Black Friday, that I think runs till like December 5th or something like that on Bamboo Lab's site. I'll have to post it. I'll probably put it here where it is and there'll be links in the description anyways. So if you're going to buy a printer, guys, and the reason being for it, um, for printing RC parts, I would say get the H2S. Now, if that's not in your budget, there's all kinds of great options. X1C, the new P2S, you could get a P1S. But if you're looking for something for a bigger build plate, and uh, you want to use the whole build plate, you don't want to, you know, you're not really into that much multicolor prints, uh, you know, you, you I go with that. So I'm going to show you some of the projects I've been doing to show you why, but as far as multicolor guys, that H2D, it's killer. It's so much quicker than the uh, X1Cs is because it's uh, got two tool heads. I'm so excited though about the... Um, h2c that's going to be released here uh, tomorrow on the 18th uh, they're going to do a live feed so check that out um but yeah i want to talk about that now uh the only thing that makes these printers better in my opinion is the biqu build plates and i'll show you those right now now this one right here is called the glacier I talked about this before, used this for PTG, used it for ABS, it's killer. There are a couple other brands, like uh, I don't know how to say it right, uh, Yopi, and uh, there's other brands. I, I mean, I've tried them, uh, they don't stand up well to what I do, as I can see so far. Now, I mean, they should be able to do the same thing, I'm going to give them another go, but right now I'm, I'm killing it with this uh, BIQU plates. And I'll show you this one. We talked about it last time. Now, the only way to make your Bamboo Lab printer better is with this. If you're into PLA prints, this does great on PETG. I did a cab last night with it. And you can stand it just like that on 0.28 top Z distance. And it doesn't fall over. So, there's that, guys. Um, don't want to ramble on too much here. I think it's time for me to show you some stuff I've been printing. Things like this would be the best reason to have an H2D printer, like multicolor prints. These ones here, you can do them separately if you want, but things like their shoes, H2D all the way. I mean, the H2S is capable of it. It just takes longer because of the tool heads, right? And uh, I love these things, but that's not really why I'm into 3D printing. I'm into 3D printing because of the RC stuff. So let's talk about that right now. Okay, guys, these are the projects I wanted to talk about right here. The uh, This one here is an extended cab, short box, single cab, long box, long box dually crew cab. And, of course, the one that I posted the reel about today, Corvette taillights, single cab, short bed, like stubby short bed, dually, I have a regular as well. You can mix and match them whatever way you want, but the reason these are so important to talk about with the uh, H2S and the H2D is there's so many different sizes here. So what I did was an experiment with like different filaments. I used uh, ABS and PETG, and uh, you know, overall it went awesome. I only had a couple failed prints and it was because I was trying to like orient them a weird way just to see if it would pull it off. I was able to pull it off a couple times like but it's better just to go with what works. Now, if I was to choose again, like what filament would I work with? I like using RC bodies. Uh, 
you know, uh, as an example. But uh, the reason being is there's so many different curves. But uh, what I would choose, guys, for filament is ABS every time, just because you can sand it out easier. Now, PETG, less likely to warp. If you're kind of new to printing, you're just wanting to, to uh, you know, pull off a print. Maybe you're only doing a couple. I like building multiple RCs. <laughs> like, I just love building RCs. And this OBS project was the one I wanted to use for this experiment. Now, back to talking about build plate size and bed size for the uh, H2S. Now, look at this bed. Look how long it is. Now, it'll fit in the H2D, but I can't go any bigger than this. Now, let's say I want to use this for the SCX6. I'd need to go, you know, probably that much wider. And, uh, you know, I could do that in the H2S, guys. So, um, plus I could probably print the full cab in the uh, H2S if I lean it back. So, instead of just doing it in sections, which I have it set up for so I can work with the carbons as well, I could do it all at once in the H2S. So, that's super awesome. But uh, yeah, I'll do like some close-ups of these so you can see kind of the differences and I'll point and tell you what uh, filament it is. Um, right now there's a lot of PETG set in here because I bought a bunch, Bamboo, Black Friday. And uh, anyways, uh, I'll show you kind of what I was doing and why I like ABS versus and uh, you'll be able to see clearly because you can always tell because ABS, a little bit yellow, see it? It's still white. It's great to work with, but it's still a little yellow. PETG, of course, super white. Always hard to even see on the camera. So I'll uh, get up here, kind of do a walk around, talk about it, and uh, we'll go from there. I kind of want to show these off anyway, so why not? First body I'm going to show you. Extended cab, regular bed, not long box. Kind of looks like it until you look at that box. But anyways... PETG guys. Now one thing I can say about PETG compared to ABS is the supports are harder to get off. Raise your Z distance. All I can say about that. This one's full PETG. Also, you know, turned out really great. This is uh, ABS. Look at it. There's kind of a difference. Oh, got off kilter there. There's a lot of difference in it. Plus ABS is super easy to sand in comparison. Now that's a PETG grill. I also have multiple different grill types, so, you know, Chevy, GMC without logo, GMC with logo, another Chevy one there, I'm working on other ones, I'm going to do like a Phantom kind of grill, but yeah, so I wanted to show you guys those, now we'll go and look inside the printers and look at the tool heads and talk about that, um, I don't want to jump all over the place too much, guys, but I've printed a lot of multicolor stuff and a lot of single color stuff, and again, if I was going shopping again and I was going to buy another printer, except for the fact the H2C is coming out, um, I would buy an H2S. If I was going with like one printer, one setup for my house, that's what I'd buy. Just because I could do multicolored prints if I wanted to, but I could also get the bigger build plate. So let's look inside these printers. So let's quickly look at this tool head first. This is the H2D. As you can see, two nozzles, 0.4. That's what I put in them all. Um, you can see how the top rail is built. Um, you know, awesome. Great for multicolor printing. But let's go over to the uh, H2S. So this is the tool head in the H2S. As you can see, one tool head. And that's why I can do the full build plate without having to have two different rolls of filament and all kinds. I've done it on the other one. It's just this one is a little less complicated, although it isn't that complicated to do it on the other one. It's just nice if you're printing a big single color print to not having switch of filaments, wasting anything, you can use the whole thing. Let's look at the build plates. Now this build plate here on the H2D is 350 by 320 by 325. And what that means to you is if you want to use one nozzle, basically you got to stay inside this mark to that mark, which I put on there with build plate glue, just to kind of give you an example. Um, really, it's not that big a deal. It's great for multicolor prints, but like I say, I like using the whole build plate size. And I think that uh, I'm glad that Bamboo Lab offers that as an option. You, do, you know, I know you got to get a whole other printer. It'd be kind of cool if you could just change the tool head to single. But, you know, they, they build so many things. Like, I imagine it just makes more sense to them to just release another printer. So let's look at the other build plate. H2S build plate. It's got the BIQU sitting on it right now. 340 by 320 by 340 just means you can use the whole thing. 
it's nice. Um, I mean, they're all nice guys. I love 3D printing. I love Bamboo Labs. So, I mean, for me, it's I, I could care less what printer I have. But if I was going out, like I said, to buy one printer for my household to have a larger build plate and you know print bodies whatever i'm doing i'd probably buy this h2s it's not probably i would so uh yeah let's let's talk about this a little bit more and then we'll end this video because i don't want to ramble on too long because then you guys won't watch it okay guys so in closing on this video i'll do many more so follow the channel subscribe go check out my social medias but anyways in closing on this video i'll buy one printer Got a good solid budget or, you, you know, like I said, uh, you can buy the cheaper ones if you want, especially on Black Friday. But uh, I want them all. But if I was just buying one, I'd buy the H2S just because of the big build plate. H2D is awesome. You can get the heavier laser for it. All kinds of options for both. But that's it, guys. So go ahead and uh, check out the links in the description. I'll post my links. Uh, if you use my links, it helps support the channel, guys. That's awesome. Um and uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe and thanks for watching guys. And I'm going to make a video that's just about the OBS, but it was a project to experiment with both of these printers. Although I did use the X1s in it, both of these printers performed awesome. I can't complain about anything and I like to complain <laughs> who doesn't, but I can't complain about anything guys. It's been a success, the whole project and it's awesome. So thanks again for watching, subscribe, check out my links and, uh, Follow along on uh, social media.